I am Chintamani Lele, Director at Vintec Electronics Systems Private Limited. Vintec Electronics was started in 1996 by me and my partner Rajiv Patai as a partnership company. Vintec as such was to happen, it was our destiny, that's what I feel looking back all these years. We were together, Rajiv and myself were together in the college, we had all sorts of college masti. We were good friends. We never thought of setting up our own business at that time. Eventually, coincidentally, we got into the same uh, jobs or jobs in the same company. After passing out. After after passing passing out. out we both of us joined a company called Eltec in Lonaula. And we used to travel all the way by train for one hour and then walk. For about two and a half miles <laughs> to the company. Company. <laughs> and we did a lot of uh, tough uh, journey over there. Yeah. We, uh, I remember we used to work sometimes for uh, 36 hours at a stretch. And uh, But those were the uh, slogging days and we really slogged a lot. We learnt a lot which helped us in the journey in our future. From there we shifted to a company called RM Electronics in Pune which was manufacturing champion UPS. We worked there together again for seven years as managers for he was handling manufacturing, research and uh, production. I was handling customer support in those days. We worked there for seven years and the company grew a lot. 1996 I remember we felt stagnated there was no growth path as we had reached the top level in the company and uh, we felt it's we were not really comfortable we wanted to do something on our own or grow and where the opportunities will come up exploring all our skills that time was the uh, this uh, liberation had just started and uh, power situation was also uh, going bad and that that time uh, this immense uh, in uh, power uh, were entering into uh, indian market we thought we are not geared up for those uh, that competition and as it is it was stagnant uh, stagnancy in the current uh, role so why not we try uh, on our own and uh, ethically we decided that we will not touch the ups industry where we had expertise recognition and we got into uh, office automation that was our principal decision that we will not get into uh, the same business where we are uh, we have an expertise experience and uh, acknowledgements so that was a step first uh, deciding step so i remember we one day both of us discussing what to do next and we were i think sitting in kamlanga park right, right. <laughs> and we had a lot of brainstorming in kamlanga park on a bench and we thought of a lot of ideas, what to do, what to do next and then we got an opportunity from Vipro for uh, opening up a dealership which we grabbed on. We decided immediately and got on to that. And a magic part of it, it was a fax machine dealership and we didn't know how to send a fax. <laughs> so <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that was quite uh, adventurous at that time. And then we, whatever kitty that we had generated out of all those work, uh, working experience and uh, earning, we put into the business, started off with 50,000 worth of capital and uh, bought our first few machines and started selling them. We didn't know how to sell, we didn't know how to go and pitch technically the product. But we kept on, we had that confidence and uh, belief in ourselves. So we kept on going to the customers, finding new avenues and then uh, the fax machine really happened for us, right? We right. actually got out of the fax machine business, but we did that business for two and a half years. And uh, at that time internet also was just coming in India. People were struggling to know about internet or how to set up the accounts, how to use internet. I remember it was text mode internet at that time, not even the graphics. So we used to go and give training to the people, set up their internet and There were very few people services. who were uh, knowledgeable in that area. Yeah, so we got some uh, information from a knowledgeable person in the morning and we used to impart in the afternoon or evening. That's how we... So on the go that. training. And uh, then in 2000, before 2000, I think we got feedback. We At that time, even our company was very, very small, maybe about 10 people. I remember we took 
feedbacks from the employees on what we should do next and uh, someone had commented that why don't we do business in i mean why don't we get into the it business because that is the growing uh, field and that's how we landed up into it we started selling white boxes i had never planned or imagined that i would be an entrepreneur it eventually happened through the career path but i am very happy that i am today an entrepreneur i am able to generate so much employment for our society and give back in some way to the society what society has given to me wintech is focused on it systems integration for uh, enterprise corporate and smb customers we have been one of the top 3 it players in pune market for last about 10 years i can say we have always been on the top for hp and we have substantial market share in the pune market it is the field which is a very dynamic field things keep changing every quarter every month something new will happen around you we always make it a point and an effort to be abreast with the technological trends that are in the market adopt those who are suitable to our set of customers who are needed by our set of customers then impart training and certifications to our workforce the engineers the sales people impart them with the latest trends latest technology will uh, advances or products or services make them qualified enough for the new technologies and then go to the market on the way we also make it a point that whatever we sell we use ourselves that has been our policy throughout right from the first fax machine that we sold which is still operational in my office after 18 years we have been using all the technologies and products that we sell be it hp products hp desktops laptops apple imacs or tablets iphones thin clients servers network switches firewalls whatever we sell we make it a point that we get some experience ourselves and are con- confident enough to take it to the customers in today's times customers know more much more about the products and services or latest trends than you it is very uh, bold to say that you have to go and educate them but we have our own mechanisms we have email campaigns we have programs and customer events where we call in the customers to introduce them newer technologies and products so these events are done quarterly for various products like hp apple cisco netapp vmware all the vendors that we have types with and uh, there are regular email marketing campaigns to keep people aware of the technological trends as well as the schemes programs that are available from time to time our strength is the our target audience our strength is the smb we have something like maybe 1000 plus smb customers in our fold and that has been the key to our success we have not been centralized or centric on around a few set of customers corporate customers who give you big chunk of business but that is short term all the recessionary trends in 2004 2008 2012 we did not go down we in fact grew up against the market trends just by ri- reaching out or increasing our outreach to smb customers smaller i think smaller companies or smbs starting from even 10 people or 25 people organizations today need the latest technology at hand and we try and help them fill that gap because they are not focused on it their core businesses are something else one could be in travel one could be in manufacturing one could be in services or process industry that is their core business they are not focused on it they cannot afford to have an it setup and management so we cater to that gap we fulfill that gap we provide all those services and products to them and enable them use it to the best of advantage which will enable them increase their business five years from here uh, with the current trends i see that we will be focused more on the cloud services at one side and the mobility on the other side because the today's trends are showing that the hardware 
will go down, will reduce and center around in very few data centers. So cloud, we are investing, we have already formed a joint venture with 15 top IT partners of the country and formed our own cloud. We are extending these cloud services to our customers. On the other hand, people are going to be very choosy on their devices that they use. There are a lot of options available, the smartphones, tablets, name it, phablets, whatever. But we are not just retailing these products, we are providing services around these products. So people can manage, have secure data access, secure environments in their networks for all these devices. And they will find using these devices in their environment very easy, very comfortable. Our customers are majorly SMB. We have around 600 plus SMB customers, mostly into manufacturing or auto ancillary units. 200 plus are our regular customers who give us business year on year. And we have some 50 prime customers which give us substantial business every year. They form the very key, very close partnerships with us. Vintech is involved in supplying IT infrastructure solutions to its customers. Right from enterprise servers and storage to standalone devices like printers, iPhones or computing gadgets. We provide everything to the customers along with the necessary services. So we have key partnerships with some vendors like HP, Apple, Microsoft, VMware, Citrix, NetApp, Emerson and Symantec. We provide all these products and services to our customer base. Vintech's first win came in 1997 when we were shortlisted and selected finally for supplying modems for Tata Motors EDI project. So we supplied modems to around 700 EDI vendors, Tata Motors vendors in the state of Maharashtra. The order value was not much in today's uh, calculations. It was just about 25 lakhs, for, but for us that was a very big win at that time. Our next big win happened I think in 2004 when we supplied 1000 plus laptops to Symbiosis Group. At that time, this was the country's biggest order. Then such success stories or successes keep on, kept on coming. In 2009, we supplied orders worth 4 or 5 crores to CLSA, Seed Infotech and Mercedes-Benz. We provided them blade infrastructure and enterprise storage along with the computing devices. Recently in 2011 we provided Sandvik with 300 plus iPads for their marketing division which was given to international marketing team. That was with integration of their own software and services onto the iPads. Our revenue share if you Vintex revenue comes from products mainly 85% revenue comes from the product sale and 15% comes from the services that we provide to our customers. We sell HP as primary partner. We have about 65% of our revenue coming from HP products and services. Rest 35% comes from the other brands. The enterprise product range or the server storage and the allied services, they give us about 35% of our revenue. 35% comes from the devices, computing devices like desktops, laptops, tablets, phones, printers and all such gadgets. About 10% would come from networking services and firewall and security, all those product lines. And the rest comes from the software and software allied services. We have a very strong track record. We have been growing year on year at least by 10%. So from the 12, 12 lakh turnover in the first year, we are now standing at about 32 crores as per the INR revenue. We have two modes of revenue. One is the dollar business that is done through the vendors from Singapore on the import basis. And the other is what we do internally, domestic sale. So combined, we have reached now about 50 crores. And in the next five years or at the end of the five years, we aim at 100 crore. Pune is a very big market, very big potential market for us. 
it has been growing over last 10 years consistently lot of manufacturing companies from international circuit have come and set up their bases in pune this is because pune is recognized as an it hub as well as the auto hub auto ancillary units are set up in numbers and we provide all products and services to them here because of our quality our processes they prefer dealing with us we are an iso 9001 2008 certified company so perhaps that helps us in uh, acquiring new customers every year that has been consistently happening the, the feeling that you are able to employ 80 to 100 people and their families and supporting them year on year that is much much uh, bigger feeling that i get bigger satisfaction for me than my own personal earnings and that policy we have followed throughout rather than trying to grab or uh, earnings for yourself we are all we have always invested in back into the business given to people given the earnings or revenues or profits back to the people so that everybody grows we have given i think cars to so many people within the organization so we have always try to fulfill the aspirations of the employees you trying to give them the best of the facilities and the work environment people we have a very open culture flat out is free to express their ideas put, put on new initiatives and carry on their own projects within the organization there are ample growth opportunities lot of flexibility within the organization which has helped for us to come so far and wintech i am proud to say that we have the lowest attrition rate in fact negative because a lot of people who have left during the course again have joined back wintech after working outside for some time right so that is that is the success that's what i feel that people going away from you are coming back to you employing so many people enable enabling them managing their families we have even employed uh, physically challenged people we are i think we have two As people on board social responsibility for last 3 4 years we took that initiative when somebody approached us for some donations for some blind school so we told them if anyway you are teaching them to be graduates and post graduates so why don't we employ them that will be a better way to support them because we don't know uh, what happens with the donation but uh, this is this benefit goes directly to the uh, to the person, to the, person to the person and that in, uh, increases his confidence uh, yes i can work i can get a job outside and that translates uh, into uh, much more uh, benefits for that person so we are also doing some green initiatives with association with our pune chok computer dealer association on the green it front so we advocate how to dispose the e waste to the our customers we provide means to take out their e waste and properly circulate it uh, as per the norms our secret of success i attribute to some uh, three four factors one is our positive approach second is our never say never say die spirit third thing is our cohesive team these are three important parameters